hello once again welcome to another Hedwich view on baneful herbs not many to go now today i'm choosing datura uh, it's got lots of names there are loads of different variations there's the datura tree the datura plant but they all have the same basic chemical composition they all have the same magical uses so datura it's a long trumpet shaped flower hence some of its folk names um, it comes in purple or pinky, uh, white, yellow. I actually grow the dark purple in my garden. Love it. <laughs> um, it flowers in warmer climates from sort of July, anywhere up to October, and it, then it seeds. And when it seeds, it has these little berries that uh, have little spikes on, hence some of its other names of um, witch's thimble. Um, Oh, devil's apple now you know the difference of one uh, sometimes they call it angel's trumpet and sometimes devil's trumpet now if it's an angel's trumpet uh, the angel trumpet it grows dripping down so so the flower opens the flower opening is at the bottom if it's the devil's trumpet it grows upwards and the flowers grow upwards so that's kind of like how you can tell the difference um, a new name I've learned for it learned uh, about it recently is the zombie flower never heard it called that before uh, witch weed uh, which is thimble jimson weed jimson weed <laughs> that's really hard for me to say um it grows on wasteland in ruins it's worldwide i have to excuse <laughs> the noise we are in the middle of major work on the inside of the house now so it grows on wasteland uh, ruins it's found throughout the usa southern europe um, excuse me um basically um england anywhere where it isn't like too remote or too barren or too cold it doesn't like that uh, cold um it grows well in sunny positions and it likes a sandy light soil now my soil is really dark claggy clay soil so it shouldn't grow well in my garden but it does and it grows in the shade <laughs> it is part of the belladonna family the solanacea family which is also potato and the plant divides people before you can get onto any of the uses in the folklore and everything else it divides people some people say that it has the most heavenly scent it smells beautiful and other people will claim that it smells vile. So is it sweet and heady or is it dank and horrible? I suppose it depends. It's a personal taste thing, possibly. Um, it's also known as moonflower, which is one of my favourites. If it's white, uh, the white one ten tends to be called moonflower because it does, um, it, it can open up at night and it does smell beautiful. The moonflower smells beautiful. So it is, oh crikey, once again it is poison but it's also a panacea, you know, it, it's got these healing properties as well as these quite awful properties really. So um, in medicine it was used for so many things, it's an antispasmodic, it's, um, it's used for asthma, Parkinson's, toothache, neuralgia, oh crikey, so much stuff. Um, pain relief it was a hypnotic narcotic um also it's a and did i say antispasmodic it's an antispasmodic um but it's also an hallucinogenic obviously <laughs> and that's where most of its uh, folklore comes from now regardless of regardless of anything you can find out about this plant its range of uses and people that used it is so huge you can't pinpoint a specific folklore like you can or a specific way it was used i mean a lot of shamans used it for spirit flight um and it was used in it can be used in uh, which is flying point uh, potions because it gives you this feeling of flying uh like i said it's, it is a major hallucinogenic <laughs> and it does give you this idea of flying and um it's kind of used to open the gates 
to other realms whether that be above or below or just other realms now although the plant is poisonous like i said it's it's toxicity is mainly in the seeds followed very closely by the leaves that's the most poisonous parts and uh, it contains scopolamine and also um alkaloid atropine which is where it comes from the selenaceae family the mm, belladonna deadly nightshade <laughs> um it's a potato family actually so as i said it's used in spirit flight uh, it's connected to the to the fae but in more of a, a dark sort of way so sort of like nighttime fae witch queens that sort of thing and it's you oh, magical uses there's so many uh, divination visions it's used as hallucinogenic it's, it's used very much in shamanic uh traditions uh communing with other realms including deities our protection divination love dreams manipulative love spells as well especially um it's also said to be connected to shape-shifting and this is down to sort of like native indians i think and in down as far as mexico where it was used to you hallucinate and then you felt like you could you were in spirit flights so you could transform into an eagle but it's also been connected with lycanthropy so being uh, transforming and shape-shifting into werewolves so it's planet uh <laughs> it could be the moon it could be venus it could be saturn and although its gender is primarily feminine it also has a lot of masculine sort of vibes to it as well uh probably because of the thorny apple and the saturn connection its element is water and its deities are varied but they can include hecate hades saturn itself himself and shiva and that's the love connection there as i said its gender is uh feminine um so the leaves and the seeds have been smoked <laughs> it's been used to make tea and this is just for shamanic purposes and magical purpose the purposes this is apart from all the medicinal purposes once again it is i have to say that's all the good stuff. It, it can cut that's all the good stuff it can also cause um insanity <laughs> uh nightmares coma ultimately cardiac arrest so it is kind of dangerous well yes it's dangerous it's not kind of dangerous it is dangerous and like many of the baneful herbs there isn't actually a true cure or a remedy for poisoning by datura um so it's something you've got to be really really careful of you can buy teas based on moonflower um datura teas um once again as with all baneful herbs if you burn it um i like to dry and burn mine especially the flowers and that i feel helps to open up a realm and but once again i'm, I'm very careful about what i inhale so there you go the datura not a lot of folklore even though there is a lot of folklore there you can't get specific about it so look it up maybe you'll find something so there you go bit of information Thank you for watching, witchy people. Bye for now.